Got some questions from you guys about draw to first shot and precision, um, timed precision to targets when you're deciding between the deep carry rigs that I like. So that's the 365X and the LCR22. So rather than just talk about it, we're just gonna measure it right now. Um, I'm 10 yards to this eye box. This is a four by four inch eye box, so smaller if you wanna translate that to a normal IDPA or USPSA target. It's probably an additional three yards, something like that. So this would be a draw to an eye box shot at, or a head shot at something like 14 yards. Let's just do a few reps. Uh, these, keep in mind, these are essentially cold reps. I've, I've put uh, four rounds through this pistol today. Um, this is starting with 365X. Let's just see what we can do. Deep concealment. That is in the bottom left of that square. So uh, right where the, the head meets the shoulder. It's a four by four inch square, so it's absolutely good as far as a headshot is. That is a 167. So that's a 167 again. Um, that shot is, that shot's a half inch outside. So it is, if that's a four by four inch square, that shot is right there, half inch low. Just giving it to you raw. We're not going to cut any of the, the misses here. Uh, 167, pretty repeatable there. All right. Felt like I was taking my time more there, but again, that is, uh, that is a 167. That's a 163. Having some timer errors here, and I know my battery's about to die, but you can see it's recording a 0 .01 first shot, and then the second shot is a 163. That's in. So 166, you guys can see here that I, I stress repeatability. All right, so I'm gonna swap out now. We'll do the LCR 22, and I have not pressed any rounds on the LCR um, other than dry fire, right? No trigger presses on that gun, and oh, too long, guys, too long. Yeah, so deep carry again. I have now swapped out to the LCR 22. Uh, these are sporting the new Hammer Forge grips on there. More on those to come, uh, putting them through their paces as we as we speak. Uh, this is as it came out of the safe with the Federal Punch in there. A uh, nice part about shooting 22 is there's no excuse at, at 22 cents a round. There's no excuse to not just run through your carry ammo and put new fresh carry ammo every single time you hit the range. So that's what we're going to do. I'll do five reps again at the same distance, 10 yards to a 4x4 four four inch square. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's in. That is a one, 170. Really took my time there uh, to ensure that's that's a shot and that's still right in that, that bottom half of that four by four inch square. It's a 186. If you guys go through that you can slow it down you can see me actually slowly roll through that press rather than my normal smash that one is also in a 174 just a note for you guys 
that was a botched draw. So my grip was not where I wanted it to be. I was much lower on the gun. In the footage, you should be able to see that. 174 to that Eibach shot, still. That one is in, just barely. Uh, it's on the four by four inch square. That is a 148. There's a 165. One's a clean center punch, and that's a 171. Uh, so the difference in times, if you put in the work and actually do your dry fire, do your training with both guns, there is really no difference in times, uh, perceptions wise. I feel a lot safer to draw this gun at ridiculous speed, at, uh, at getting the wheels to fall off speed, feel more comfortable drawing this gun with the heavy long trigger press than I do with the 365 any of the 365s yeah um, a lot more margin for error there on the shooter's part so yeah there it is uh, you can see here dots are awesome they help but they aren't really the thing that allows you to make these shots uh, doing the work on the range and doing the work in dry fire is what gets you the speed and precision. There it is, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit all the buttons. Uh, go on to Patreon if you want more in-depth content and you want to you wanna actually message back and forth with me. Uh, check me out on demonstratedconcepts.com if you want to do one-on-one -on -one virtual sessions. Um, or you want to come out to one of the many classes I'm traveling around the US. Uh, we've got a imperceptible handgun class coming up in August. Uh, that is a class where you can come. I will go through all of the Enigma rig, how I run it, um, how it sits on the body, how to conceal it best, how to access that deep carry draw with a high level of repeatability uh, for speed and precision. Thank you guys. Keep training, stay safe.